morning from a very wet morning in Osaka. I have borrowed an umbrella, which is probably why you can hear rain. Uh, we are walking down the riverside because it's quite peaceful. And yeah, um, plan is still Cup Noodle Museum. Glad we decided to not go to Himeji today because apparently it's just raining in the entirety of Japan. Are we going up here? No. Okay. So yeah, just having a chilled walk down Dotonbori, which is a lot calmer than it was 12 hours ago. Because um, oh, okay. it's no longer night time. But yeah, I borrowed an umbrella from the rear can because they said we could. It's quite hefty. Like, I'm paranoid about forgetting one so I don't want to take that risk. Yeah, we don't want to leave it on the train or something, but equally, if it's going to rain the entire day, I, w I don't mind an umbrella instead of oop, an umbrella instead of just my raincoat because obviously raincoat good for showers, umbrella good for rain, and it's quite quite rainy. So let me just show you. This is the river, and you can sort of see some of the sploosh that's going on going to do this all day which is fine because we've planned mostly indoor activities it's just getting to the indoor activities which is what we're attempting to do now so one thing I forgot to mention because it's been a lot uh, we picked up a thing called Icoca which are IC cards um, so if you're familiar with like an oyster card in London they're a little bit like that um, except they can be used nationwide so like we bought ours in Osaka, we will be able to use it throughout Japan. So we went to the Cup Noodle Museum. Uh, because it's about half 11, they have a wait time system. I think it's also like peak tourism season, even for internal tourism, because it's March the something, 20, I don't know. Yeah. March 28th? March 28th, sounds about right. It can't be the 28th, we wouldn't be here. Either way, it's the end of March um, and it's a Sunday. 26th, there we go. We don't know how dates work anymore. Um, so we have a return time for 2 p.m. It's currently about half 11, quarter to 12. Yep, that's the thing. And the plan, ow, is to find some food uh, because I have realized that I am hungry and Matthew has joined me in this emotional status. So we're having a bit of a meander around the general area. We don't want to go too far because um, basically we don't want to lose ourselves and not be able to get back there for the two o'clock time. So we'll, we'll find some food, let you know how it goes ah, and try to stay dry because it's real rainy. We are currently at a very cute little ramen place called Ikare Mansai. Uh, near the Ramen Museum. There's a very cool backdrop thingy since 2017 is when they were um, created. I'm just waiting for our food to arrive. We'll let you know how it is. Mm, I'm excited. I'm quite hungry. So it's also super cheap, like for 350 yen for a rice bowl, which is about two pound. No, yeah, about two pound. So very good. This is where we've just eaten. It was heckin' delicious. Um, it had a name, I said it a minute ago. I can't remember what it said, but something like that. They have um, an English menu, which we were very grateful for. Um, and yeah, they, they, I think my meal came to like four or five pound, um, if that, which is really, really good. And I had like a massive bowl and drink and extras, and it was like seven quid. Yeah. Insane. And it was very, very tasty. Yeah. Like uh, the pork rice I had had like um, ginger on it, which just added something very, very good. And Matt has had his first, first ramen in Japan. <laughs> yeah. First actual ramen in Japan. And yeah, it's just insane. <laughs> like, that is very much what is considered quick and easy version style. Yeah. Right? And even that is still beats the pants off anything I've ever had. Anywhere. Like, in anywhere. fairness, I think most of our most of our ramen experiences have been sort of like Wagamama's or sort of chain. I've, I've had like no, because it must have been to like independent ones Oh yeah, ones we've as been well. to a yeah. couple of like, Japanese restaurants. There's a few places in Birmingham, there's a place in Bristol, there's loads of places yeah. in Ramen. It's just 
Not quite the same. They but don't charge you seven quid for an insane bowl like that. No, it was like 14 pound. Like perfectly sliced pork loin, cut beef. Yeah. Like nothing was like crazy, like expensive in terms of quality of goods and ingredients. It didn't matter. It, just it was just the care good. taken with it and the taste. Time to make some noodle. So, put the money in the thing. I should do it. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it gave you change. Yeah, because for a second one, you might need to wait. I want this. Did you press the button? It did come out. And then we have two cups, and now we have to wash our hands because it's sanitary. Okay, we have our cups, and we have to draw on them within the next 23 minutes. There are also instructions here on how it works, and you have to draw between the two red lines. That is the rule. How, how do you date month year? Um, so it's year, month, day. Can I write the number four? I don't know. So it only has a month to last. You can only use the pens on the table. I have officially cup noodles. This is my design. It has a little cute cup noodle bird with the word kawaii next to it. I coloured in the my cup noodle in like a pink and black combo and then put some sakura around it and then some slightly smudgy slightly wonky mickeys and some hearts because i thought it would look cute and then the date in not my best handwriting but it will do and the next thing we need to do is go and get some broth cup nude is gonna go upside down <laughs> Can I wait for the bell to go ding? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it has a name and one more. Uh, uh, Hi. There we go. Oh, there's mine. Got a little label. There it goes. It's been squished. It's been labelled. <laughs> and Matthews is being squished. <laughs> and now it's being shrink wrapped. <laughs> away, away. And now it goes on a little adventure to become warm and cosy. And mine will follow. And we put the window. There he goes. There he goes. Arigato. And is it a little bit warm or is it like. Warm. Oh. oh no! <laughs> it got stuck. <laughs> They don't want to move. And now we go get a bag for them. Um, I don't think it particularly matters where we get a bag from. This is the house. It's the house. There's egg, which is what you put in noodles, and a little pressing machine. So am I right in thinking that noodles are the baby version of... Oh, hello. A little bit of frying going on. Um, nice. So noodles were first. Fry the steamed flavour noodles without scattering them. Yeah. I made a wire mesh hook. Nice. Which was that one there, and then he popped them in. Okay. Sorry. So tonga spices, spice, and chicken meat, and boiled for about three hours in a high pressure cooker. Nice. <laughs> And and watering can seasoning. Was, so you needed the soup on the floor, the noodles fell apart, and the soup was steamed and then dipped the soup came sticky to put that. Fair. So you sprinkled the soup um, with a watering can, let it dry naturally, and rubbed it in with the hands. That so must have been a lot of effort. And also, how do you get eggs, Matthew? Chicken. Chickens! I bring it to you. That wasn't the only thing they used the chickens for. <laughs> I'm assuming that tells you how much he could fit on his bike. in there. Bye bike. Put it home on his bike. <laughs> That's very good. I like it. There are a variety of things with which 
you can open and look at exhibits. I'm going to see if I can get an example open without being in the way of the children. What do we have behind door number one? It's noodles being made. Yay! And we're going to make sure it goes down slowly. Like, am I right in thinking that, like, instant ramen revolutionised ramen it, as it, a thing? It was a massive thing just after the war because it meant you could get food, keep it, and store it very easily, very quickly. I, you could get literally like a ramen dish. Yeah. Instantly carry it with you, have the food wherever you needed it. Um, I think that's been voted as like one of the miracle inventions in the lead up to the Tokyo Olympic Games. Ah, fair enough. Like the washing machine. Yeah. I mean, why not take them to space? It makes sense. Because all you need to do, curry. like they're already dry. Yeah, I love that. And you just package yeah. them more tightly. And they have the astronaut who did it in 2005, the astronaut took with the original inventor, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Just like noodles in space. I bet you that's tastier than like an MRA. We are at the Pokemon Center slash One Piece store slash Doraemon store slash just everything we or nerdy or geeky that you can find. It is on the 13th floor near the JR station in Osaka um, and it busy because it's Sunday. Let's see what you got out of these. It's... Oh, what's it, Majima? Majima's cool. Uh, this person. Okay, no, these are adorable. Also. So, traditional Japanese no bride. No traditional Japanese. I mean, they're pretty good. Um, yeah. Pokemon. Oh no, the pillow is very cute. Is it also very soft? Let's find out. So, that this be the pillow. It's it's quite soft and floofy. I don't, can't imagine getting that back on the plane though. Oh, big whale lord. See, you don't know how to get it on the plane. We put it in a bag. Yeah, big whale lord. He large. Oh, they're not, they're not, they're, 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 they're okay. Those ones are puppets. They're adorable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can see that me with less self-control would spend a lot of money in here. I like that they have Mimikyu socks. He's a good bean. He's just misunderstood. Oh my gosh, it's small if He's not small though. You don't expect him to be. He's, he's life size. <laughs> life size smaller. Do you think they'll ever do like? Or they'll ever do or have done a life size whale lord? Uh, no. Grumpig. He's a grumpy boy. 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 This is my sort of mini room tour thing of the Kaneyoshi Ryuken. So this is the door you come through when you come into the Ryuken. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what is in store. So to start with, you have this little hallway entrance area. Uh, there's a little place to put your shoes and there's slippers for in here as well. Uh, we've got a key there because it needs to be somewhere and there's a, like a little pretty flower as well. Why is my hand in the way? A little pretty flower as well. Then to our right, you have the bathroom, which has its own separate light switch. Um, it has a, a Japanese toilet though. The buttons don't seem to be working, but I don't know if it's just me. Um, a little sink and then a shower it's quite a powerful shower do not 
been mistaken by the fact that it looks kind of not. Trust me, this will wake you up in the morning. Then they have provided some Champions League editions for us, which is very nice. Hello me, I look a bit tired, because I am. Um, then you step out of the bathroom, back into the little hallway, close the door, turn off the lights in there, and there's a sliding door, if it wants to behave itself, there we go. Once you go across, like so, into the bedroom slash sort of living area thing. Now this is a lot bigger than the room we had at our last hotel. Um, there's a little cupboard there that we've been keeping our suitcases in to keep them out of the way. And a table which is full of all of our stuff. There's also little kneeling pads for you to sit on and there's chair backs as well and a safe. Which is really cool. Uh, there's the TV and there's like an air purifier that's on but you can turn the lights off a bit which we have done so I can sleep a bit better. And then through here is a Matthew. Hello. Hello. You keep saying good morning to me. I do, I'm very tired. Um, and this is like a little alcove sort of sit down area, which is where there happens to be a mini fridge as well. And our view is just a street view, so it's not anything particularly spectacular, but they do have riverside rooms, which are apparently really, really nice. Um, we would have had to pay a bit extra for that and we kind of arrived a bit late to do it. So- I don't know how to turn this light on. Oh, there's a light switch down here. So there are, these little light switches there's the one for the window so you can actually see and yeah overall i would say this is a very cozy little rear kind of like considering it's literally in dotenbori um i think it, i can't remember exactly how much it was um but it wasn't super expensive we also went to a bandai namco arcade uh, in the arcade, there were like lots of um, crab claw grabbers, not crab glorers. My brain's doing real well today. Um, I got myself a little Kirby. Let me just grab him. I've left my bag in the hallway, which was a bit silly. But like, we're talking about how far away things are in here. It's, it's large. Like, they do also have rooms for up to four people. I think this is specifically a two person room. But we have doubled up our um, futons because obviously being Westerners we're kind of used to a slightly softer bed than a futon on a tatami mat. Not that a futon on a tatami mat is bad, it's just a little bit harder than we're used to. Uh, this is my little Kirby boy. He's, he's dropped on the floor, hang on. This is what I won out of a claw grabber. I don't know if it was like, it was 100 yen, which is kind of cute. Um, I've also got a um, gacha for my friend Zoe who normally comes with me on my Disney trips and I'm going to open it up because she really I'm just going to put it pull it to one side uh, nope doesn't want to open give me a second it is Lucifer Lucifer that's who she wanted it to be so yay for Zoe um what else did I get I'm sure I got something else today I, I, we've kind of Oh yeah, so from the Cup Noodle Museum, I'll show you this now, I got some tiny magnets of their mascot. Uh, we also got our Cup Noodles, which I've shown you before. And from the Pokemon Center, I got an Eevee blind box, which I am actually going to open now, because I want to know what it is. Um, there's also these... Hang on, they're over here. Oh no, camera, why? Oh no, we're good. There's also these um, Pokemon token things. Now there's like an arcade game you use these in and you can earn them by playing it more and fighting them and eventually you can theoretically get a bunch. They claim there's a Pikachu on there. I think that's a like specific game you have to play. I didn't really know what I was doing because everything was obviously in Japanese and my Japanese is not great. So the one I wanted was the Sleepy Moona. Let's see what I got. Ah, Volpix. See, I would have been happy with any of them. So Volpix is very cute. And it's got a little flower on the back of it as well. Um, oh yeah, and I got an Animal Crossing thingy for my friend Jess. Has that ended up with you or with me? That's ended up with you. So it's just an Animal Crossing sort of writing piece of paper. If I think it's going to get you thrown at me. It comes in this massive bag. And you'll be like... You'll see, you'll be like, Tasha, that's not a massive bag. It is for what's in it. 
Um, so this is what I bought from the Pokemon set, uh, from the Nintendo shop, sorry. So it's a little um, letter writing set. I know she has an American pen pal and I know she likes Japanese stationery and it has like tiny little envelopes and a tiny little writing thing. And it's, a, it's, a, it's Animal Crossing themed. I shall see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>